Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini weekly money and career reading from April 22nd to the 29th, 2024. Gemini's, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Gemini's weekly money and career. April 22nd to the 29th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the Here Out for the magic word. It's the last week to put that magic word down below in the comment section. There will be one free reading up for grabs. Don't forget to be subscribed. Uh, and I will announce uh, one free reading in uh in a live at the end of the month last live of the month uh i'll keep you posted on when i will do that all right gemini's let's see what's going on the moon waiting for answers confused what's going on you're not sure what's going on are they not keeping you in the loop are they not giving you all the information um, did you n not get all the complete information you were looking for? It's, it feels like you're indecisive in making a decision, in deciding, in uh, choosing, or let's see where this is going. I feel like a lot of indecisiveness is going on regarding your family, re regarding... Do you want to go back to something? Do you want to go back home? Do you want to move closer to your family? Do you want to go back and work with those people, with that company? Are you waiting for those, that information? Um, this can be also being you know, nostalgic from... The, a nostalgic of the old ways, nostalgic of that old job or that old community, the pa or or just your childhood back in the day, right? The people. Do you want to go back to that? The star. Judgment. Lots of major arcana here, uh, Gemini. It feels like you have hope hope to do something, dreams to do something, to shift your just destiny, to change your destiny with the judgment. It is, oh my, Gemini, major arcana, major arcana. All right, let's, let's get into this. The star, the judgment. So here's that choice. Here's that major decision, that crossroads you're at, that you you have to make that decision or you want to make that decision. You want to step up to something different. You're changing your destiny pretty much. Now, with the temperance, it's really about aligning yourself with the right vibrations, the right people, making sure you take it step by step, that you don't rush into anything, right? That you take your time. But the temperance is also um, positive messages, positive messages coming in f from, from entities, from people. Um, is it something you're waiting for from your family or you know finding or, or compromising in discussions negotiations with uh, <clears throat> a potential um uh employer right or negotiations uh with your family i i'm, I'm putting family in the mix because we have the six of cups and it's reminiscent of uh, back in the day, uh, the nostalgia of your childhood or childhood friends or family or a place, a home, something like that. Now, it doesn't have to be that. It could also be working with kids. But the temperance is about reconciling um, opposing views, right? Reaching an agreement, but also uh, resonating with the right people, finding that... Um, that core group, I don't know why I'm saying that, finding that um, 
that your tribe, right? Being with the right people to redirect your path. And uh, working with that company you really want to work for. Or starting your own business on your idea. Basing it all on, you know, your idea, your business, how you want to develop things. It's, it's about, wow. And you have the strength and the sun. Wow. I mean, that's incredible six major arcana six major arcana to find happiness to um find that balance and click it's almost like clicking with that right person or clicking with that right community or that right right vibration it, it's and then taking your time to uh navigate the this this new path to happiness with the sun and it's also you know going back to sources or going back to the simple things these beautiful surprises coming in filling you with joy almost like a child like childlike amazement or childlike um happiness and excitement because of what you are choosing or what you are connecting with with the judgment so it is a shift it's a big shift it's a big shift but it's a it's a rebirth so you can be revisiting the past i get a strong push on that making peace with family making peace with a situation with something that was not easy finding ways to make peace with that for for to make that decision with um a, a real outlook on the past right that's still there confusing uh, whatever it is, whether it's a family dynamic, whether it's a past job, whether it's a past business partnership, uh, family, business, whatever it is. But it feels like you're making peace with that. Finally, finally, finding that balance and being able to sort of resurrect on that. And understanding that now you can build on your fundamentals if that makes sense but it's also you know really really changing your destiny but like a, a real concrete change you might be moving you might be living in a different place living in a different house finding a new community um, but you're rising up to something that makes much more sense to you but at the same time resonating with the right people you're in control, Gemini. You're in control with this, with the strength. You got this, you got this. But I feel like you, the main, the main energy here is the peace again with the star card as well, making peace with someone, with past situations, with past vibrations, whatever it is, sort of to sort of bridge the gap between your dream and reality. Right? You had a dream it didn't work out or you had a dream um a, a goal a job whatever it is a business right um that might not have worked out or you had opposite point of views with other people and and maybe this is the second time around it can be that it doesn't have to be but it feels like you have to make peace with something in order to full full grown full grown full blow resurrect right in your new life new destiny wow yes exactly six seven of swords not surprising there's someone there you didn't trust or someone there you're making peace with or just making peace with yourself with the resentfulness or um the triggers the the wounds you need to heal the you know to be able to now move forward yes there we go move forward and rebuild absolutely amazing yeah so what is it that you're making piss peace with sorry 
uh, peace with uh, Gemini, right? Who is it or what happened or, or, but this can be even something way back um, in your childhood, right? Uh, making peace with something that happened in your childhood and love and light if there's anything there that that needs healing right uh, or 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 a situation with siblings or with parents or something like that it feels like you're you're making peace with that and you're you're finally able to move on from this person that you don't trust or from these people that you took you for granted or whatever you know whatever it means for you and so with the temperate between the judgment and finally you know finding clarity that you are ascending to something more important to you much more important but also the sense of being in the right place with the right people resonating with the right people uh but also taking your time everything in moderation step by step everything thought out so now you can rebuild with a new team, a new community, a new business, a new company, whatever that is. Very, very interesting. All right, let's see um, what we have in the second deck. Gemini, weekly, money and career. April 22nd to the 29th, 2024. Gemini. I keep seeing the star card, right? Healing. The star card is believing, but it's also healing. Healing past wounds. Healing past um, trauma, triggers, whatever it is. But I, I feel that, I feel like it is a... Um, an energy of a whole um, of your of your your life, you know. In other words, that past trauma or trigger or energy is not automatically linked to your career to your job. It's something you have to heal in order to make this decision here. Yes, ten of wands, the end of that, the end of the disconnect, the end of the disconnect with that person, with that vibe, whatever it is. Comment down below. This is something that you're proud of. You're proud of understanding. You're proud of being able to move on. You're proud of the work you've done, the process you've done. And now you can lead the way. You can be, you know, confident. Uh, your confidence is boosted now with the Six of Wands. So you can be a team leader, a manager, uh, get that promotion, uh, lead that business, you know, lead this team, whatever it is. But and, and now people recognize that, Gemini. People see you, see you for your strength, see you for your, your talent, see you for all your creativity, your ideas, or your leadership role. <clears throat> Let's see if there's one more. You're out of the stress, the pressure, also the miscommunications, the disconnect with whoever or whatever the energy is, right? Um, not even wanting to deal with them, you know, bored with it already, but bored in a sense with repeating the same things over and over, having the same conversations over and over, people not listening to you, not understanding you, not hearing your words, right? This is something um, that you really have um, worked on or decide upon, decided upon, right? To leave that behind, to leave that person you don't trust or that vibe you don't trust or that those people, that team, whatever it is, whatever it is, you're leaving that behind and stepping into the sun. It doesn't get better than the sun. It really doesn't get better than the sun. Happiness, but also happiness, but you finally seeing the glass half full. The success, abundance. And that gives you the strength Right, You have the strength here of being in control, knowing what you want, knowing where you stand and how you're moving forward. And it also tells you that, you know, that no matter what you do, 
now your positive energy is really going to follow you through and bring you that joy seeing the bright side and bringing warmth to people because you're in the right space and this warm energy is going to help you succeed like radiate who you are and what you stand for shine your love on those you really care about i think that you've discovered here through this challenge through this process who who you really are or what your purpose is or what it is you really want to be or where it is you want to be and so now that energy uh it's such a beautiful energy of understanding of you know having been through that process and being in the right place and resonating with the right people with those synchronicities coming in right now that energy is going to push you to persevere to success right brimming with that confidence that everything's going to work out that you're not no longer fear driven right no longer ego driven that you have what other others really want in other words that beautiful energy of trust wow very very um interesting reading uh gemini i'm gonna pull one last uh, i'm gonna pull an oracle card i like this um beautiful oracle deck of the uh secret garden oracle deck let's see what energies what we have in this oracle deck of the secret garden Number 12, let's see. Now is not the time to hold back. Do not let uncertainty, anxiety, fear, or even pride keep you from reaching out. Extending yourself is the key to unlocking synergy. Reach for that dream, that possibility, that relationship. It's okay to stretch beyond your comfort zone. No growth comes from comfort anyway. Discomfort often yields levels of creativity you didn't even know you possessed. Stagnancy is the enemy of the soul. So let your passion and presence be felt. Show up, offer, extend. Let yourself reach for what you want while maintaining the healthy boundaries of self-worth. It's time for you to go the distance. Wow. Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I want to say that the magic word here is healing. So if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading all you have to do is put the word healing down below in the comment section and be subscribed again i will pull one name at the end of the month this is the last week last week for um for the reading i don't know if i'm gonna offer well we'll see we'll see so anyway put your put the magic word down below if you're interested uh also um if you're interested in joining uh, the active memberships, uh, that will automatically give you access to a Sunday uh, free tarot reading. It's a beautiful community. Uh, it has become now uh, members only um, live or free tarot readings where everybody can ask a question. So if you're interested in that, by joining and becoming a member, it gives you uh, access to that free reading. So thank you uh, so, so much for watching. Gemini, thank you to each and every one for sharing your energies, sharing your journeys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Gratitude to everyone connecting with these readings. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.